Good evening, and welcome to the celebration of the Feast of St. Sebastian. Our opening song can be found on the handout, so please rise and join in the singing. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. How wonderful for you to come out on this, our patronal feast day. St. Sebastian lived during the middle of the third century. Uh, tradition tells us that he was the captain of the emperor's guard. Uh, he helped convert many to Christianity after he himself became a Christian. And when the emperor discovered that he was a Christian, he was put to death, tied to a pole and shot with arrows. He survived that, and tradition tells us that the Saint Irene uh, helped him to recover, and then he was later uh, bludgeoned to death at the orders of the emperor. Uh, so he is a witness, a courageous witness, a martyr of the church. Uh, underneath the altar where the candle is lit is an actual relic of our patron, uh, which is deposited beneath the altar, and it was put there by Bishop Hurley on April 22nd, 2007. So we're blessed to have uh, the relic of our patronal saint right beneath the altar where we gather for the Eucharist. Let us come to honor and celebrate this great witness and pray that we might have the strength as well to be courageous in our faith. Lord Jesus, you're a mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to take up our cross and follow you. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you come to us now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in our faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of fortitude, so that taught by the glorious example of your martyr, St. Sebastian, we may learn to obey you rather than man. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, even if you should suffer because of righteousness, blessed are you. Do not be afraid or terrified with fear of them, 
but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted, so do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. A decision had to be made. Perhaps it was in a terrifying moment. Perhaps it was a reflective time. Whatever it was, a martyr has to make a decision. Shall I proceed with the proclamation of who I am and not yield to any power other than God? knowing that it will cost that person their life. Sebastian had to come to that decision. Perhaps it was during an interrogation before the emperor himself, or perhaps it was a decision he made on his way. When they discovered that he was a Christian and captain of the emperor's guard, those two could not be the same. It was an insult because the emperor thought that he was God, And Sebastian knew better. Sebastian knew who this Jesus was. He had helped others come to know this Christ. And when it was discovered that he was one of them, he had to make a decision to worship this Jesus who he knew and came to know and love or to yield to an earthly power that had no real power except over the body. And our readings make it clear today that we are not to fear that one who can destroy the body, but one who has the decision over one's soul, and that is God and God alone. And Sebastian knew that, and all the holy martyrs, men and women who've gone before us, and martyrs who are still laying down their life this very day in parts of the world have to come to that decision. Shall I witness to my faith in this Jesus Christ knowing that there is a cost to it? And perhaps it won't be our bodily death. Perhaps it might be our popularity in school. Perhaps it might be opinions of other people about us. But you know, each and every day, some of those moments come to us where we have to make a decision. Do I witness to my faith, knowing that there is a cost to it? Sebastian would never have guessed that moment in which he made that decision, that we'd be speaking of him here and now, 2,000 years later, thousands of miles from the place of his martyrdom. And yet that's the impact that one person can have when one stands up for one's faith, when one stands up for the belief in who this Jesus is in our life and that no matter where we are, our lips must proclaim that and our lives must bear witness to it. It is not easy. But our readings today remind us where Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, do not be afraid. Your heavenly Father knows you and knows everything about you and will be there with you and for you. All that's left for us 
a difficult task indeed, but one which must be made, is a decision of our faith. Can we witness to it, to the world, or not, knowing that there is a cost? So we thank Sebastian for his faithful witness. We are blessed to come to remember him and all the holy ones who have gone before us. And that's why we come to the Eucharist now, that we might be fed with the same grace and the same courage and the same faith that enable those martyrs to bear witness to the faith as we come to this holy altar. Together we now bring our prayers to the Lord. For our parish, on the feast of our patron saint, may we follow Saint Sebastian as faithful witnesses of Christ our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our newly inaugurated president and vice president, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For persecuted Christians, may they be strengthened in their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of human life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may they experience Christ's healing grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, especially Donna Seastrom, may they rejoice in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your daughters and sons who gather on this joyous feast as we celebrate the faithful and courageous witness of your son, Sebastian. Inspired by his life, we gather here now to be strengthened in our faith, to bear witness to you in all that we say and do. And so we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
is that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Sebastian overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Sebastian, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Granted, we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Sebastian, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, in whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Sebastian faithful in your service and victorious in his suffering. Through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.